Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The 90 Day K Happily Ever After Season 8 Tell All premieres this Sunday and here's everything that fans can expect from part one of the No Limits reunion. Happily Ever After Return to TV screens in March 2024, making Sunday nights a lot more dramatic for viewers. The spin-off follows couples who have been previously featured in other franchise shows. They don't have to be married and don't even have to be traditional K-1 visa couples to qualify as EA cast members Big Ed Brown and Liz Woods are both from the U.S. and were only engaged. Regardless, the other eight couples were all married and going through major obstacles that could have ended their marriages for good. This season was a landmark one for Michael Alsami, who finally came to the U.S. with Angela Deem, Gino Palazzolo, and Jasmine Pineda, and Rob Warren, and Sophie Sierra, both split in the last episode. Ashley Michelle and Manuel Villas, Mahmoud and Nicole Sherbany, Emily Bieberly and Kobe Blais and Lauren and Alexi Bravarnik were trying their best to make their relationships work. Only Taz Ramon and Patrick Mendez looked like a normal couple with no chances of divorce. If all the drama during 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 8 wasn't enough, the network is leaving no stone unturned to provide the fans with the best of the best entertainment during the tell-all. A reunion like no other, the tell-all for season 8 will first have all the couples gathering at a huge mansion in New Jersey so they can mingle and make new friends or foes before they head out to film the reunion. The premise is like Big Brother and Statler Riley is already claiming that the network copied her idea. One thing that caught the eye of fans while watching the promos for 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 8 was that one couple was missing on set. It was Nicole and Mahmoud, who fans predicted were fired by the network after news of the Egyptian man's arrest spread like wildfire in February 2024. Mahmoud was allegedly involved in a domestic violence incident, and the victim is allegedly Nicole. Mahmoud was arrested around the same time the reunion was filmed which could be why the couple gave it a miss instead of giving fans a life update. Jasmine was reportedly kicked out by Gino in December 2023 after he allegedly found her cheating on him with her friend Matt Branis. However, Jasmine, Gino, don't look like they will discuss the same on the tell, all since they were also filming 90 Day, the last resort season 2 in April 2024. However, a preview shared by People does confirm that Jasmine may have cheated on Gino because he wasn't satisfying her physical urges. Gino admits Jasmine's constant fighting wears him out, and she adds that she's never seen Gino naked in four years of being together. Meanwhile, there's a slim chance that Liz might reconcile with Big Ed because of the way she reacts after seeing him in person for the first time after the breakup. A clip shared by E.T. shows Liz taunting Big Ed for not complimenting her. While he tells Liz that she looks great, he also tells Liz that he misses her. Big Ed cries while confessing his feelings and makes Liz weep too. She says it's weird seeing him and that all the animosity she had disappeared the moment she saw him, taking her back to her old self. If Liz is having second thoughts about her decision to date someone new, Jason's not letting Big Ed come anywhere close to her. It's the first time ever that Jason will be introduced to 90 Day Fiancé viewers as he comes on set to console a crying Liz. As per TV Insider, Jason asks Liz not to cry anymore and tells Big Ed that he will never disrespect Liz again, and if he does, he will have to deal with Jason. He informs Big Ed that it is in the past now and that, from that moment onwards, they're all moving forward. Just like Jason, Liz's mom is also showing Big Ed no mercy at all. Liz is sensitive and may look like she's forgiven Big Ed, but her mother remembers every single insult Big Ed threw her way on the show. Pagistics reported how Patty exclaims, I still want to kill him, 
and admits she regrets opening her arms, her heart, her home, and her family to Big Ed. She tells Sean about how Big Ed's ego and demons always kept getting in the way as Big Ed reminds Patty that even Liz had her share of anger and temper. One clip from the tell all sneak peek shared by 90 Day Fianke on YouTube shows Lauren and Big Ed arguing in the green room while getting their hair and makeup done. Lauren accuses Big Ed of calling her a bottom feeder. Big Ed tells Lauren that she doesn't even own up to what she's said about him. However, Lauren screams as she tells Big Ed that she's looking right at him while telling him she doesn't like him and Alexi tries to intervene.